Hi, this is David at Simply Maya. I thought it might be easier to just answer this question in the form of a quick tutorial. So you're having some problems with your particle on your timeline jumping backwards and forwards. This is because uh, every time particles are evaluated in Maya, when we press the play button, they are evaluated by, if you use an end dynamics, the nucleus solver. So if I go ahead and just drop in some end particles here, doesn't really matter which, I'll just use balls. So, end particle, no, I don't actually want that. Uh, yeah, just create an emitter. And you'll see what you expect to see. The balls jumping along here. If I increase the rate to a thousand, so we've got a lot of them. And this remains the same, whichever type of particles you use. And I'll go up to what you have, which is a thousand frames. Okay, you see I'm playing back here. If I try and jump along the timeline, you'll see nucleus evaluation skipped, frame rate too large. Because Maya can't calculate from frame, say, 80 to frame 800 in one jump, it has to play through all of the frames. So if you start to skip around and you've got a complicated scene, there's a great possibility Maya will just crash on you. So if I turn this back down to more reasonable 100 frames, in my outliner, select my end particle, go up to making sure I'm under end dynamics, and end cache, create new cache. This will play through once. And it's caching the frame. Okay, here we go. And when I play back, you'll see immediately the playback is a lot faster. And I can skip around the timeline. That's what I mean by cached. Now, if you have a need to re-simulate, you can delete your existing cache, disable it, re-enable it later on. When dealing with particles, when you've got the result you're looking for and you've played it through and you're happy, you should always cache them. Um, this will allow you to get on with the next part of your animation. Also, if you're going to batch render, cache before you batch render. This will save you a whole host of problems down the line. Okay, I hope that answers your question about what I meant by cache the particles. Uh, see you in the next one of these.